Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today let's look at what a rectangular solid is. Another name for that would be a rectangular prism. Remember that prisms are three-dimensional figures that have parallel bases. So this one has a parallel base to the bottom, even though this is not a perfect rendition, but you get the idea of my artistry here. Okay, so what is a rectangular solid? You have to have uh, a closed figure. It's going to have faces. And a face is basically like the side of a box. So this one has one face, two faces, three, four around the sides, and that's called lateral area. Then it has a top face and a bottom face underneath it. So this one has six faces. Okay, now it also has what we call vertices. Vertices just is a fancy word for corners. So that's a good way to remember. How many corners does it have? Well, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one has eight vertices. And then how many edges does it have? Edges are just the lines that create it. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I forgot to count that one, twelve. So you go around the top, and there are four. You go around the bottom, there are four. You go around the sides, up and down, and there are four. So that one has twelve edges. Okay, there's a little bit of a pattern here. If your base has four sides, like this one does, to find the faces, you're going to add two. If you know the base has four sides, you're going to multiply two by two to get the number of vertices. And if you know your base has four sides, you're going to multiply by three to get the edges. So you can actually apply this to other solids besides a rectangular solid. <laughs>